I am Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you, or I'm gonna show you four organizing tools that can potentially help you organize your home more efficiently. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. If you're someone who's looking into organizing your home and you're trying to figure out where to start, the first organizing tool that you should probably use or have is a notepad. Whether that notepad is a journal, an organizer, a sheet of paper, you have to plan out your space before you organize it. What this does is it helps you see the overall picture on paper. So rather than going into the process blindly, you'll be going into it with a guide. It may not be step-by-step, step. it may not be a visual guide, but it's something that you will have that will help you stay on track so that you can get to the ultimate goal, which is organizing your home. And you know, for every room in my home that I've organized, I've always wrote it down and drew it out. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen that I've always created a blueprint. This blueprint typically is some type of space planning guide that helps me see what I'll be accomplishing on paper so that as I'm accomplishing it, even though if it doesn't look the way that I drew it or that I wrote it out, I at least have a guide to follow. It just makes the process that much more easy. So the second organizing tool is, drum roll please, I'm sure you already know, and that is labels. I'm not telling you that you should go out and buy labels and add labels all through your home, no. What labels does is it makes it easier to find anything. So if you're someone who wants to organize your office and you, let's say you have multiple people that frequent your office, having labels just makes it easier for you to find what you need to find and for others to find what they need to find. In my office, I do have labels kind of everywhere. I have labels for my labels. As you can see, I place my labels in these clear containers and though, yes, you can see through them, I feel like the labels just add that extra spunk, that extra organization to my space. So if I'm looking for stick on labels, if I'm looking for gift tags or even clip on labels, I have them all labeled. So I don't have to think when I go to that area, I just look inside, grab it and get it. Of course, you have to keep up the habit of putting things back in its place because if you don't, then the labels are meaningless. The third organizing tool that I believe is great to have when it comes to organizing your space are bins. Bins, bins, bins. Okay, guys. Oh, okay. I'm not telling you that you need to go out and buy bins when it comes to organizing your home because that's not, that's not the case at all. You can organize your home without labels, without bins, and your home will be organized. But I feel like bins help create division. So for example, let's say you have a drawer and you have multiple items in this drawer. You wanna have, you wanna insert some type of bin or even organizer inside your drawer so that there's division amongst your drawer and that which will keep things from touching each other, from being cluttered. So for instance, in my drawer, I have a drawer organizer that I purchased from Ikea and I'll leave the link below. And what this does is it separates my pens, my markers, my post-it notes, my stapler, my tape, it separates everything so that everything has a home. As you saw my labels, they're also in a bin. Though it's a clear drawer, I still consider that to be a bin and I like to separate my labels. Therefore, I have, lab Therefore, I have separate bins for my labels. So even if you're, let's say you're even organizing a playroom, creating bins per child or per item really helps create division amongst their items or amongst the items so that you can find them easily so that you can put them away easily and it also adds the visual aspect to your room so i personally love things to look aesthetically pleasing and organized so for me bins work perfectly in my space but as i mentioned before you don't have to include bins they're just that added bonus when it comes to organizing your space so the last but not least organizing tool i believe is great to have when you're organizing your home is Pinterest. Pinterest is free, which I love. And there you can find so many ideas on how you can organize your space. The only thing is when it comes to Pinterest, just make sure you're realistic when it comes to looking at these pictures. Because a lot of us love looking at the after, the after is the more organized, beautiful space. 
we forget the amount of time and effort it takes to get it that way. So keep in mind when you're using Pinterest, especially to get ideas to organize your home, you look at spaces that look similar to your home as far as like the size, dimensions, even colors, so that when you do organize your home, you kind of, you can create something similar to that and it's not completely off to where you just give up. Pinterest is great because it gives you ideas, it inspires you and sometimes motivates you to get your space organized, but sometimes it can be unrealistic and a lot of us think that we can organize our space the way it looks on Pinterest and then at the end it doesn't look that way. So there's so many different types of bins, there's so many different types of labels, there's so many different types of journals you can use. It just depends on what fits your lifestyle, your, your personal style, home style, and your budget. So let me ask you guys a question. What's your favorite organizing tool? Leave a comment below. So you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.